If you watched the previous video on this channel, you noticed that I spent most of this day towing Jamie around in the snow. Jamie was feeling a little insecure because he hasn't been able to tow me out yet, so I figured I'd go ahead and get her high centered and see what he could do. As you will see, that decision turned out to be a costly one, as we will spend the next several hours trying to solve our new problem. What happened? Did you break your drive line? I think it just uh, popped down. Uh, I'm guessing if I go backwards, it'll roll off. Not, not very fast, because I'm laying under the tire. Right yeah, you're doing okay. Hold it! Let's stop right there. We need to take your drive line off. So the story is that is supposed to be attached to that. And it's not. I don't think those spurs have got a problem at all. It's like it's it's like this male part's too big for the female. <laughs> You can get out and just rear wheel. Probably not. Probably. There goes my ride. So this is what happened. I got high center on a hill, and uh, my suspension fully extended. The drive front drive shaft popped out, and burnt, you know burnt up the uh, teeth on it. And so uh, we pulled it off, tried to put it back in, and there's something keeping it from sliding back in the shaft. So here I am, a two-wheel drive, trying to make her home. It's an adventure, FJ Adventures. Yeehaw! Looks like we finally made it out of the woods. Craig did fine with one drive shaft. I did fairly good with two. After we got the rigs loaded back up, we spent about 45 minutes driving to the nearest auto parts store in Yakima, Washington. There we bought a file and spent about the next hour filing away on that drive shaft to clean up the burrs in order to get it back in. Oh, I need a no bounce. Huh? I need a no bounce to freaking whack that thing with. Let me tap it. Once I realized I needed a no bounce or a copper hammer to get this thing in, um, the store had already closed, so I made do with what I had. There we go. Okay, let me go grab the screws. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't leave them up in the snow. It's not symmetrical? Nope. You gotta rotate it. I think we gotta take the other one off. Oh. I think it's off 90 degrees. Okay. Oh, yeah. A little better? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Trail fix. Huh? Trail repair. Yeah. We got uh, light and tools and oh. nothing else to do, so. We used a little bit of that time to install a new fuel regulator in Jamie's Willys in preparation for day two of our adventure. In our next video, we'll show you what happens. It includes the fact that I forgot I had four wheel drive, Jamie murders a small tree, and we wreck both of our trucks. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time.